Good afternoon and welcome to A Change in the Tide. This programme is coming to you from Northern Ireland. And this week we'll be taking a look at the changing attitudes amongst the Ulster people. And we'll also be investigating the possibility of Christ uniting Ireland. Here in Northern Ireland we have two main religions, Protestant and Roman Catholic. Both recognise the same God, but interpret his holy word differently. Now instead of respecting each other, they see one another with contempt and oppose each other in God's name. Then they cry out to this same God for peace. But what one young Ulster man asks is how can peace begin if we have hate in our hearts? At the Eurofire conference in Birmingham during July, one young Ulster man who had been blinded with hatred, bitterness and murder received a special touch from the Holy Spirit. For the first time in 17 years, he saw people's hearts, not their national identity. That move in Gordon Jackson's life has resulted in the Christ Unites Ireland movement. Now it was at that same conference that Gordon first felt directed by the Holy Spirit to march upon this land of Ireland and reclaim it for his Lord. And so after a remarkably short period of organising, some 45 people set off from the City Hall in Belfast, Northern Ireland's capital, to march to Connolly Street in Dublin, the capital of the Irish Republic. It was a march of 100 miles and was taking place over four days, notably coinciding with Halloween. To get a first-hand account of the march and to interview some of the participants, I, David Levins, the roving reporter, packed my bags and set off to. It was an event that would bring us a list of experiences, several venues and a variety of views. But it was also going to be a very busy weekend, particularly for the March organiser Gordon. And it wasn't actually until the third day as we were entering Drogheda that I managed to get a quick word with him. 